This is an air cooler that I made up to keep my lathe tools cooler as they cut. And as an added benefit to that, they seem to blow the chips down and into the tray rather than having them come up in your face. Now there's a handle here to regulate the amount of air that blows on the tool. And you can have a lot or a little, just whatever you need. And we're going to take that all off of there and show you how it works. It's easy to disconnect. And there's a little clamp handle here. You just turn that. This comes off. And we'll show you the difference between this and that tool holder and explain why it works. Now the reason this works is when I turn this handle to bring this out, to its maximum. You see the, the part coming out there? When that's out at its maximum, which is about there, this one isn't. We have to turn the handle more and then that one comes out. That's why when we clamp up on the tool, it doesn't also clamp up on the fixture for the air. Now this short little guy here is the same as this here except for this one is an inch and a half high and this one is only one inch high. Everything else is pretty much the same except we did drill a hole through for this screw which is the clamp screw which actually does hold this in place. And if you'll notice we drilled the hole closer to the bottom of this because it doesn't quite make it if you get it in the middle here it doesn't always catch properly. Well, that's the only difference between this and this guy here. So you do have to make one of these and you will need the, the right cutter to, to cut this. And other than that, they're the same. Now you will have to drill the appropriate holes for your air connections. Depending on your shutoff valve, whatever size this thread is, you'll have to drill the appropriate hole in. And it'll go in, well, I think I drilled in about yay far. And then also your tubing here, whatever size connection that has on its thread going in here will have to be tapped for the appropriate size. And as long as it goes down far enough to enter into the hole that you made for this, it's going to work just fine. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.